Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today I'm going to have a look at this TP-Link LS108G switch. Um, it's marketed as a basic network switch but it's capable of uh, full non-blocking throughput of 16 gigabits per second non-blocking. What does that actually mean? That means that all eight ports on here can both be sending and receiving one gigabit of data per second. So to test that, we're going to connect eight machines to this and actually send the data in and out. So to do that, I'm going to use our lab here. I've got a couple of the servers and both of these servers have multiple network interfaces, but each has four one gigabit uh, NICs. So what we can do, if we go around to the back of the server, I'll show you on the back how we've cabled it up and then we'll jump into it on the computer. Okay, so around the back of the rack, you can see I've got the switch here and I've got all eight ports connected and they're alive. And I'll just do some B-roll here to show you in the back of the server that we've got uh, four cables going to one server and four cables going to the other. And what we'll do next is we'll jump into the computer and I'll just show you this uh, actually being used at full capacity. Okay, so we're now connected up to the uh, console. And we can see I've got eight Windows 10 machines. Each have got one of the four NICs assigned. So we've got two with zero, one on each machine. And what I could do, if I scroll down through here, we can see I've got uh, the performance here running. And we're just copying files automatically between each of the machines. And we're sending and receiving as fast as each uh, machine will allow us to go. What we can pretty much see there is we're virtually achieving a full duplex or a gigabit being sent and a gigabit being received. So 100 megs being sent out from the machine and received from the machine at the same time. So we can see all eight ports there. If we just go over to some B-roll, you can see they're all in action, sending the data quite happily there, um, transmitting probably around sort of 14 uh, gigabits per second. So I fully believe that the switch is capable of the 16 gigabits per second throughput, um, but non-blocking. Okay, let's just have a look. While well, the switch is under heavy load, if I um, launch a command prompt, what we could do is check some ping times here. So if I was to ping, say, the first machine, on here. You can see we're getting ping times there of uh, a few seconds, varies. I guess this is down to uh, obviously the load on the system. But even under heavy load, we're getting ping times of well under um, sort of 60 milliseconds, um, down as low as seven milliseconds. I think if I actually stop on this machine, the copy process, so I'll terminate this uh, little script we got running. So the network on here will drop off. And what we can then do actually is run the ping again. And what I would do is go over to machine one here as well. And I'll just stop this one uh, copying as well. Okay, and this is still sending data to machine um, zero here, there is machine one. So let me go over and stop the copy process on this one as well. So now we should see machine zero, so there's no activity on there. And if we now go back to this machine, let's run the same thing again. You can see there's a little bit of a time delay there on sending data through. Again, this could be down to the virtualization as well and the pass through the actual network adapters because they are virtualized. All of that IO has to actually go for the virtualization of the servers as well. So, yes, summary. Switch is brilliant for the money. I think uh, in use in a home environment, I don't think you'll have any problems with throughput gaming, connecting up to the internet because um, I don't think you're going to get anywhere near um, saturating uh, all eight ports at the same time, like we just have. 
So in summary, this switch is excellent. As you can see, it is really small. Um, the switch is almost the size of the actual plugs. It's not far off, uh, as you can see there, the dimensions. Um, it's completely uh, fanless. So it's excellent if you wanted to run an ethernet cable, say to the back of your TV, for plugging your games consoles, various other devices. Um, this can literally plug from here, straight into the back of your router or router, depending on where you're from. And uh, you can then obviously connect up to another seven devices straight off to share that connection. If you'd like to actually see this being installed into a home installation, um, I'll leave a link at the end of the video here where you can actually uh, click through and see how we've actually installed this wood structured cabling into a house. Thank you.